25 million in a night. Uh, we had an idiot first president. Hey everyone and welcome back to Trend Flash. Today we're going to be talking about what is happening next with Dan Bilzerian. Make sure you stay until the end so you see Dan Bilzerian's fraud allegations and the potential end of his company Ignite. It may be the end for Mr. Dan Bilzerian. Dan has been in hot water lately for some fraudulent actions with his company Ignite. Recent news of Ignite's financials revealed that Dan has been recklessly spending his investors' money and claiming non-existent business expenses. The courts are looking at a lot of things, such as tax fraud and misleading investors, since Dan has been losing millions within his company. It is rumored that Bilzerian made his fortune off playing high-stakes poker, and it's the story he stays with, paying little mind to who he addresses with respect to the deep source of his wealth. But this story has been taken down lately from actual poker experts, who have Bilzerian as not that good of a poker player, and that there just isn't as much money to be made in poker as he claims to have made. It might be enticing to believe that an Instagram VIP furnished with a luxury plane, a pack of beautiful women available to his no matter what, and a few armloads of another person's cash has precisely zero issues. That is how our society trains you to think, and envying someone in this situation is even more compelling in the context of months-long coronavirus-induced isolation. But at least in the case of Dan Bilzerian, this mindset is wrong. For the CEO of Ignite, a cannabis brand, the COVID-19 summer of 2020 has presented challenges aplenty. And if the last month is any indication, the autumn may be worse. First came the news in July that Ignite was $50 million in the red, a budgetary difficulty that constrained Bilzerian's organization to consent to end the rent on his lease by the organization Los Angeles House, even as he was yachting around the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, shares in the company tanked, slipping from $1.44 Canadian to about $0.36 cents Canadian. As of most recent trading, now bad optics and bad business, but the lesson of the year 2020 is that there is no bottom. And so late last week, news broke that Canmart, a distribution company that moves Ignite branded product in Canada, where Bilzerian's firm is publicly traded, was ending its relationship with Ignite. The individuals who have attempted to follow the real source of his wealth have found that his dad, Paul Bilzerian, served jail time for violations related with his practice as a corporate looter. Though he was ordered to pay a $62 million civil judgment for security fraud, Paul Bilzerian only paid $3.7 million. As to the whereabouts of the rest of his fortune, that remains a mystery, but it's not a far leap of the imagination to assume that he utilized offshore and domestic trusts to protect any remaining assets for his family. Theories are overflowing that web big name and king of Instagram Dan Bilzerian is a stressed man as his organization Ignite keeps on floundering in bankruptcy. The poker player turned internet personality could be fleeing the country as his company stares at closure in just a few weeks. Dan Bilzerian, infamously known as the King of Instagram, is an American venture capitalist with 32.5 million followers on the platform. He is also an amateur poker player and has claimed that he got honorably discharged from the US Navy SEALs after completing his training. On Instagram, most of his posts are about his extravagantly rich lifestyle. Tom Nash is the YouTuber who examined Ignite's budgetary records for the past six months lately. An Ignite international brand specializes in several products including e-cigarettes, cannabis, and others. However, the company is in dire financial situation that can see it close shop in just two weeks. Recently, Dan Bilzerian, Ignite's founder and CEO, has been posting pro-Armenian nationalist tweets that have left everyone wondering what's really going on with Dan and his company. Some months ago, a report by Forbes revealed that the Ignite company lost a staggering $50 million in 2019, which was seen as lavish spending by the CEO. Notwithstanding, Dan Bilzerian has excused such bits of gossip as confirmed by his ongoing tweets. In one of his tweets, he referenced Uber as an illustration to draw an equal and counter-liquidation theory about Ignite. Dan Bilzerian has been condemned by a significant number of substance makers previously and was purportedly called the man-child of Instagram by YouTuber Filiot. His source of funding is the company Ignite International Limited, of which he is the CEO and founder. However, recently it has been claimed that most of his life is based on lies. Back in July, Bloomberg had detailed that previous Ignite president Curtis Heffernan had recorded a suit against the organization guaranteeing that he was terminated for declining to support Dan Bilzerian's excessive spending. The company has not been in the best financial shape and received $1.2 million in Paycheck Protection Program loans from the U.S. government in 2019. 
Furthermore, Ignite International LTD reported a loss of over $50 million last year, which has been widely attributed to the CEO's extravagant spending. Dan Bilzerian has been allegedly funneling investors' money to fuel his expensive habits, although the company currently has more liabilities than assets. In the video at the end of this article, YouTuber Jamari talks about all of these issues and also questioned Dan Bilzerian's poker skills. The 39-year-old has widely been said to be a below-average poker player and has been criticized for his Casanova-like lifestyle, especially with younger women. Moreover, the company that he founded is basically bankrupt and at the same time owes over $40 million to investors. Ignite is a customer-centered brand that doesn't appear to really sell that much recently. The company reported $1.6 million in sales in 2020 in its most recent financial statements, which is good for only about $600,000 of actual profit. And that to the news that Ignite shuffled company leadership again last month, John Schaefer, who was recently put in time at the cannabis unicorn MedMen, took over as president on September 1st, Ignite's third president since June. And what you're left with is a picture of a flailing business sinking further into turmoil, or whatever this is. At least with Schaefer, who boasts of stops at grocery chain Wegmans and pharmaceutical giant Bears, agricultural wing, in addition to a year at MedMen, itself is a bit of an ongoing dumpster fire, there is some continuity. According to his LinkedIn, Schaefer's been with Ignite for more than a year, joining the company as Chief Operating Officer in August of 2019, following his stint with MedMen, which he departed before the company imploded. Schaefer took over from Lester Lee, whose term as president endured barely short of a quarter of a year. Lee, whose previous ventures include selling something called Energy Gum, remains on the company's board of directors, and Lee was installed as president in early June when he replaced Curtis Heffernan. Heffernan exited on June 8th to pursue other opportunities, Ignite initially claimed in a press release. Now that is true in a sense, but Heffernan is currently pursuing a lawsuit against Ignite for, among other things, firing him as retaliation for pushing back against what he characterized as Dan Bilzerian's wanton and wild spending on the company credit card. Heffernan wasn't on the job very long himself, as he took over from Jim McCormick in November of 2019, but he has the distinction of being Ignite's second longest tenured president. Four presidents and less than a year. Wow, what is next for Ignite other than searching for the next future ex-president? That is an interesting question. Touch often neglected to document its Q2 financials on schedule, delivering it only more than two months after the cutoff time. However, this actually brings up a great deal of issues. In any case, they at least delivered it so no one could discover them. It's not on their site, which is shocking. What kind of public company doesn't put its own financials on its own website? That is just unheard of. So they throw it on some website, which is really hard to get to. The Ignite company started the year with $15.1 million and ended the second quarter with $5.8 million. Now this implies that it burned more than $9 million in just six months, translating it into a million and a half every month. Basically, Dan Bilzerian is a trustafarian, however, given the result of his own undertakings, he's not an extremely brilliant one. In addition to his trust fund, Bilzerian has been using his company Ignite International Brands LTD as something of a personal treasure trove. There seem to be a lot of online personalities gleefully covering Bilzerian's deception. Perhaps it's because they can't stand him as a person. Perhaps it's to throw it into his followers' faces. The source of his money doesn't matter as much as the illusion that he sold. The truth doesn't matter as long as this illusion is still standing strong. And if Dan is a master at anything, it's that building this illusion for men and women. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these other videos on your screen, and we'll see you there.